After over a century of resistance, Rugby Union finally turned professional after the 1995 World Cup in South Africa. This week, I'm at the Arendale Hotel in Ayr, talking to ex-Scotland under-21 player Gray Meadie about the effect professionalism had on both codes of rugby, union and league. Yeah, we saw a lot of the, the good top rugby league players coming back and then and basically turning their hand and trying their hand at mm. rugby union again. In 97, when the Lions went to South Africa, there was a lot of ex-rugby league players that came back in that squad. Mm. Guys like Scott Quinnell, Scotty Gibbs, um, Alan Tate, uh, John Bentley. They came in and they added a lot of professionalism to the squad. This is the big man, Ramu. He's still on his feet. Ramu can score. It's a great try. Some of the hemisphere definitely adapted a lot quicker. Now I don't know if that was because there was an element of professionalism going on in those countries already, mm. um, and and in the, definitely the north have taken you know the time to to maybe adapt. see the differences now mm. you can start seeing that there's players the players say for Scotland for example the players coming through now they've only ever known professionalism yeah. and, and professional rugby yeah. they've not had to go through the change from being an amateur to then being a professional mm. and I think that's where we're starting to see the benefits now thanks a lot cheers, cheers. all the best